All right, here we are inside the log book for this 550 XP demo unit. Um, here you can see same serial number, product number. So it seems all we were talking about earlier and we were showing you earlier there. Um, <clears throat> here's some of the cool stuff that you can do with the uh, auto-tune and the common service tool with one of these saws. You can get information like this right here. The accumulated operating time of this saw so far in its lifetime, one hour, 22 minutes, and 22 seconds. Total number of times it's been started, 18. Maximum RPM during the last run, 14,162 RPM. Now, of course, that's, um, you know, when somebody starts it up, got to rev a chainsaw up a few times just to be able to hear it. You know, it sounds cool. Or when you're cutting through a limb and you're coming out the other side and you have it wide open throttle yet, you get that, uh, that extra high rev because there's no load on it. <clears throat> Down here, um, you'll see that this pretty much proves that kind of stuff. Um, we get a breakdown of the last time this thing was started up. The total time was 5 minutes and 2 seconds that it was started and running. Of that time, 18 seconds, as you see right here, it was above 12,000 RPM. That's your 14,000 RPMs there that, you know, it's being revved up when it's first started, and like I just explained. Here's where you get into the work time, the 6,000 to 12,000 RPM range. <clears throat> so one minute and 31 seconds of this five minutes and two seconds it was running, it was actually being used to actually cut through something and it was actually being worked. Um, come on down here and you have the, uh, the idle time, two minutes and 35 seconds. This means that even with the the 6 to 12,000 RPM part throttle range and the uh, wide open throttle 6 to 12,000 RPM range, you still had more time at idle than you did actually working the saw. So that's a lot, that's something a lot of people don't realize. You can start a saw up and you might say, oh yeah, well, it was running for 45 minutes and then it died. Well, how long in that time there were you actually working it? We're actually using it. You know, you don't, you don't think about that when you're out there cutting firewood or dropping trees that you're using it for those few seconds to cut through a limb or cut through a log, drop a tree. And then you're going to carry it around or let it sit there and idle while you roll the log over. You know, then you cut through it some more, things like that. They usually spend a lot more time idling than they do actually running. Um, <clears throat> things like this just go to show you that. And it's amazing the information you get from these saws to help you break this stuff down. Um, you can start figuring out your fuel consumption and your actual work time, you know, just different things like that that you just don't realize that you can do with one of these because it's just, it's it's still fairly new and it's just information you would not expect to see from a chainsaw. Uh, this is just a, a two-stroke chainsaw, you know, this is the only thing different about it than a regular carbureted chainsaw is this auto-tune module, but... As you can see, it makes a world of difference, and there's a lot of possibilities there of what you can do with it. All right, now you saw that log book from a practically brand new 550 XP. How about we take a look at one with a little bit more age and a little bit more wear and tear on it? Um, this one here is from a 2014 model. This one is owned by Asplund, the largest tree trimming company in the entire world. And you can see the accumulated runtime on this baby here, 99 hours, 46 minutes, and 5 seconds. It's been started over 1,872 times now in its lifetime. Um, this saw, this log book from this saw was actually uh, copied back in uh, early 2017. So this had maybe two to two and a half years of actual field use on it, judging by the serial number. And, you know, now it's well over 100 hours and uh, over 2,000 starts on this thing and still going strong. So there's a little bit of a look at what you can find and what you can learn from one of these auto-tune modules by just plugging the saw into uh, a computer and going through the log book. Um, same thing with the 562 XP, the T540 XP, the 465 Rancher, and several other models out there with the auto-tune set up on them. Thanks again to our friends at Southern End Tree Service. Um, for taking this 550 XP out and giving a little bit of runtime so we could put this video together. And if you're a tree trimmer yourself or an arborist or a landscaper and you're interested in trying out one of these Husqvarna chainsaws or maybe some other commercial equipment, be sure to check out the video details below 
and contact the dealer listed and set up a demo uh, opportunity for yourself. Mm-hmm.